Hey, welcome to another in-car episode of GeekOutdoors.com. Now, this is a very special episode, for me at least. And the reason why is this. Yeah, it's the LG G5. I finally uh, made a decision on which phone that I want. And um, I'm going to do a very special in the car unboxing because um, I'm very impatient and uh, I can't wait to uh, try this new bad boy out. So I'm going to unbox it real quick. Nothing real special. And then I'm going to talk about a few things. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this unboxing. Um, as a matter of fact, I actually already unboxed it because I had to unbox it at the store for them to verify and make sure everything works. But uh, let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to do the best I can with one hand. Um, the box isn't really anything special. Um, some people go really crazy over the actual box. Um, and I, I think that's kind of weird, but whatever. So um, let me see. So you... Yeah, so I'm doing this all one-handed. And it's not working. Okay, so uh, I actually had to edit that out because uh, uh, that stupid sticker made it hard for me to get out. So, here's the actual uh, LG uh, G5 box. And as you can see on the very front, it has the um, modular design which i'm uh, definitely going to talk about so um let's go ahead and get out of the box now um these boxes um they're really uh confusing at times uh to open so i had it took me a while to figure out where to open but uh basically you just pull this uh top part off okay and ooh, wow what is that that is the lg g5 y'all so um i was gonna wait until uh, i got home and uh um you know, do a nice looking uh, unboxing, at least the best that uh, I can. But I couldn't wait. So um, there it is. Ooh. Not that sexy. Not quite as sexy as the uh, Samsung Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge. But uh, I'm going to talk about that real quick. So let's go ahead and set that uh, aside right here. Let's see what else that we have in the box. And it's not going to be anything special. Box. Here is the uh, welcome book. Okay. Uh, I mean, I whatever stickers. And then here you have your uh, charging box. Um, and here's the cable. Um, but this one actually uses a, a USB uh, Type C. And then you have your uh, SIM ejector, and that's uh, that's basically it. That's uh, <laughs> that's the un total unboxing of the LG G5. I'm gonna put that back in here, and let's quickly uh, look at the phone real quick. Okay, once you remove that plastic sleeve, you actually have the phone. Yeah. It's a very nice phone, um, and a lot of people, and including myself, when I saw this on the video um, videos, it didn't really look. Uh, I mean, it's not a bad looking phone, uh, but it didn't really look that premium to me. But now that I actually have it on my hand, I really do feel that this is a uh, premium phone. Although uh, the build quality, although it's not all metal as you would think, I mean, as other has pointed out. It, it does feel premium though. I mean, I, I want to get that out of the way right now. It does feel premium. And um, it's not as premium feeling as the S7. But I feel like if I drop this phone, um, it's not going to shatter the uh, pieces like um, the Samsung Galaxy S7 and especially the S7 Edge. Look at these uh, features real quick. As you can see, there is the dual camera setup. 16 megapixel, 8 megapixel. Here is the fingerprint scanner. And actually, this is actually clickable which is your power button as well and um, on the side you have your actual um, your sim tray slash micro sd card slot thank goodness it has a micro sd card slot this will hold up to two terabytes if i'm not mistaken there you have your front facing camera uh, which is i think five megapixel um, and then at the bottom you have their uh your speaker uh, i would have preferred 
the you know like boom sound speakers like HEC one but um well i'm gonna test this out later and right there the usb type c um then uh that should be the mic down there and then on the left you have the volume up and down um i did i really didn't like when lg put the volume uh, up and down on the back so um let's go ahead and turn this on real quick um and um I haven't really uh, got the fingerprint scanner uh, to, uh, you know, you want to, whenever you're doing your fingerprint setup, you want to make sure you get all angles. And sometimes if you don't, it, it's not as accurate. But um, as you can see, that's pretty much it. Just taking it right out of the box. I will say right now, the screen is awesome. This is a QHD screen. Um, it looks amazing. And um, this is just a very quick unboxing of my first impressions. I, I could not wait to uh, get home to try it. And so um, this is really quick and it's kind of dirty. Um, but um, as you can see, there is no app jar. But if you go to your settings, um, you can uh, change this uh, to uh, the currently there's an easy mode. Um, if you go to easy mode and then um, it'll bring the app jar back. Uh, but at the sacrifice of you know you getting a very simplified uh, home screen but um what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually go over uh more details uh of the lg g5 i'm going to do a lot of tests uh and uh maybe i'm going to do a quick sample of this real quick you know uh, really quick unedited um but um as you can see it's a really really nice phone um i, I still think it's a premium phone um, and oh yeah, I forgot to mention uh, the bottom part, uh, the modular design. Now I wanted to quickly talk about uh, why I bought the LG G5, and in order to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, record this with the LG G5 and record my old phone, which is the original HTC One. Okay, um, let's talk about uh, why um, I chose the LG G5. Um, as you could see, this is the original HTC One, the M7. This has been my go-to phone, my main phone for like almost four years now. And, you know, um, I did a previous episode. I'm going to put the link above where um, I talked about the HTC A9 and what's happened to HTC. But when this came out, this was an amazingly, premiumly designed um, phone. Um, and for Android it really set a benchmark and uh, to this day I still think this is one of the best designed phones ever okay now the only thing that really bothered me with the HTC One M7 was that the software updates every time there were more software updates um, it would actually affect the performance of the phone and eventually just make it almost unusable now um, one thing I wanted to touch on is the premium designs one of the flaws of a ultra premium design, like say like the Galaxy S7, this HTC M M1, um, and especially the iPhones, is because when you make it too premium, this is what happened. I don't know if you could see this here, but um, I only had this like for two days. I dropped it, the chamfered edge, and right there, it already damaged it. And I hate the fact that we have to buy cases to cover up all of this beauty. You know, so um, that was one of the reasons um, that I bought the LG G5 because even though it's premium, it's not a uh, fragile premium. OK, another reason why I bought the LG G5 is because it has uh, the things that I want in Android. OK, it has a micro SD card slot, which hold up to two terabytes um, and it has a replaceable battery with the modular design, which I love. And also, I really like this dual camera setup, you know, with the wide angle lens. So I'm going to test this out uh, more thoroughly. And um, I'm going to miss my M7, but I think it was time to upgrade. Um, I'm going to go really in depth on this LG G5, at least as much as possible. So um, you should expect a lot better video and picture quality because of this great phone. So I can't wait to take it through the paces. But um, I was just really excited to open it and try it out. And just looking at the video quality right now, I'm really, really happy. And this is just on uh, auto mode. So I might take a few more just sample shots be, uh, before I actually uh, finish this uh, quick unboxing and my uh, quick thoughts. And then later on, I'm going to do more in-depth episodes on all the features of the LG G5. So stay tuned. So right now, just doing a very quick test of the LG G5. Um, it's kind of windy, so the audio might not be that great. Uh, but just quickly testing out. Like I said, I'm going to do more in-depth uh, videos uh, on 
uh, the features of the LG G5. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.